Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So finger slip. Okay, let's try this Knight G E two King's Engine, which I think is quite quite fun. Sometimes it's off the beaten territory, but it's got a simple plan, I think, Knight G three, Bishop E two and then H file for a bit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um transposing into a slimish now. I don't want to play knight g3 there because of e5. I want to keep control of d4 for a moment. Okay. Um take knight e4. See what's happening here. No H file attack in this game, or is that H4, H5, Bishop G5? What about just Bishop G5 and Queen D2? <clears throat> or castles F4, E5 later? Uh huh. Alright, let's use that pin for a moment. Stop h4. I can get queen d2 in. It's probably quite comfortable. Check. Oh, it doesn't matter about the exchange of queens. Check. Okay. It looks as though I can push for a f4 and e5. Or even b4. Maybe even. B4 is good here to try and help flood the center with later F4 and E5 if that pawn was knocked out. He takes with his B pawn. Hmm. Um. Take this B pawn. What's the point of that? This bishop's a bit stuck unless it reroutes. Really want the knight here. The bishop over here. Knight on D3. Knight on d3 and support for e5 later. That could be another way of playing this position. Alright, where's that bishop going? Oh, I got d6. Hang on. Got g5, bishop d6. Got bishop e5. I'm going to take that and try this maneuver. Take that. Get my knight ready for d3 to start off with. <clears throat> Once I get knight d3, oh, bishop a4 would have been good there. Oh, missed opportunity. Just have the bishop doing something for a moment. So knight d3. Yeah, this is coming in with f5 there. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Tricky. Let's just take away this g5 square. It's on the dark square, so maybe that's good to take away g5 from the knight. Try and keep hold of e4 square. I don't really want his pawns flooding through, particularly. So I think I'm going to change this plan. I'm going to leave the bishop there supporting e4. And then I'm going to change the plan. Where's the knight? Go for b4 instead. Maybe knight here to here to try and resolve this tension. I can resolve that tension and then b4 later with preparation. Um, although B3 here is tasty, surely, or B4. 
So I've got B6. He's got A3. Mm. But B6. Oh, maybe that was that was silly. It's getting too complicated now. B6 uh, against that weakness. Okay. I can get away with this because bishop's porting e4. Try and double on b6. Now ef actually is it's weakness of the last move is taken away from f5. Well, now that g3 looks interesting. This one first, that looks interesting. Then this one, I'll try and work on that far later. Maybe playing for f4 or Okay, get to play for f4. Although giving him a knight on e5 doesn't seem too uh, clever. The knight can go to g5. I'll try this, put a knight on g5. Keeping his knight out of e5 for the moment. This is a bit too, you know, giving up e5. I don't want his knight to have a great time. Oh, oh beeping. Okay. Okay, um, now, okay, he's a bit tied down here. Knight h3 coming up, okay. And gives him a target h pawn or a pass pawn, depending on how one looks at this. Check. Um, so is that past h pawn or is it a liability? Check. F4 in this position is probably worth considering after the king moves. Um, getting out on this one as well. My rooks are freer to switch at the moment. For b6 and h4 than his rooks, surely. Knight g3 might be possible without laying that pawn to queen. Right, the knight is going to f4. There's f4 here. Um, yeah, I could try and get my my pawns going, I think. If he's allowing that, which is not. I'll get my king to um, f3. And this one can switch across now. I don't want to lose that one particularly. That looks passive. Okay, I'm gonna test. It's got bishop h5 as well. Check. Okay, the rooks. Mm. Yes, it's past the h pawn. Uh, so I can't hold my pawn that easily. Can I use these pawns? Like f6. To distract at least that rook or d6. This rook's tied down. Well, my rook's tied down as well. Mm. I'm gonna get, oh, I can't do f8. Oh, let's try and get g3. <clears throat> He's very short on time here, but there's rookie one. Okay, there's rookie one. Check. Right now, I can just play this, surely. Yeah. Check. Doesn't look too healthy. Check. He's lost on time here, but uh, he's got a three. I can take this. A four. So, a bit of a slow paced game there. I think if I'd taken here, there's knight e4, I think, because queen's getting skewered. Check, check. Violence behind the scenes. After the exchange of queens, it's more, more peaceful character to the position. So I wanted that knight maneuver, but got to react to the pressure on e4 here. Change the plan a bit. 
put the light on G5 and he's got this G5 later. Well, there's B6. I'm reacting to the changes here with the structure, but so it seems a bit inconsistent, but it's really reacting to the, the changes. Check. Oh, H4 might have been good then. Okay. So F4 check here. Check. Well, why? Why F4 check? check? Oh, it's a mate in four. Check. Can't do this. Don't get mated. <clears throat> check. And if here, okay. King F6. H1, okay. What's happening here? Oh, okay. Alright, so that was an idea. Check. Yes, I missed the thing. His H pawn is, is looking good. It really depends on the nuances picked up, if that was a weakness or a strength. Check. Yeah. He's doing well. Taking left sevens apparently. Oh, so this is the big one there. Huh? He's let F re drop. Check. check. Pins his bishop. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.